this is not my pastime, this is my work. You know what I'm saying? It's not a pastime. This is not a pastime that I'm just doing and then going to hop onto the alternative. No, well, this is it. This is it. This is it. So listen to what I'm saying and share it to people. Like, okay. Because I'm doing it not just for myself. I'm doing it for the melanin nation that I just want to get a hold of and like hug you with all the sexology that I've been listening and hearing and finding out. You know what I'm saying? I just want to hug you guys and just let you be able to express yourself freely. Just do it. Just talk. Just talk about what's happened in your life and where you feel you've been and how it's been for you. And like, them things. I don't know why I'm whispering. I just, it sounds deeper. But I'm serious. I'm serious about what I'm talking about. I'm not playing about. I'm not playing about at all. I just wish I could just... <sighs> because there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh gosh, oh, the words. We go. Oh gosh, look at my meant to be starting. Hey, I really got into it like I was at a party. Did you not see that? I mean, I was enjoying the music of my motherland. Hi guys. Hi sexy slayers. And I was going to check if my teeth and they're not they're not in the proper condition the, the lipstick has decided to marinate my, my teeth a little bit girls i know you know what i'm talking about like you can see in the lines and the crevices let me try and sorry that i'll be back okay all right see you in a second hi guys i'm back how are you sexy ladies let me just get right into it because this is still too long Oh my, oh my, baby, I want to, hey, you are my, you are my, you are my one then, I want to do you right, 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 hey, oh gosh. Guys, this is going to be a long one, and it's not meant to be. Yes. How are you guys? My sexy slayers. S is for smart. It is also for successful. It is also for sharp. It is also for strength. Oh gosh, yeah, that's a new one. Strength. But not strength in a way that you have to, like, that's all you have to, you always have to be strong. Sometimes it's good to be vulnerable. But, you know, like, strength, like, you know what I'm saying. Ah. E is for excellence. Yeah, E is for excellence. Let me just jump onto the main star of the sexy acronyms of you guys. It's the X that is strong enough. Yeah, I did strong, so let me link it to what this one is about. X is strong because we're excellers. It tells us we're excellers, but guess what? There's no E. There's no E in front. It's just the X that's holding the whole beginning of that bit to tell us how great we are. And we're excellers, yeah. And it's you guys I'm talking to, my darling sexy slayers. You're slain in your houses. You're slain in your workplaces. You're slain in your schools. You're slain in your colleges. You're slain in your universities. You're slain in your workplaces. You're slain in your businesses. You're slain in your empires and you're slain in your conglomerates. And you're slain of all the different vision boards that you've planned. You're slain in all of them. You're going through it and you're going to get what those visions are showing you. Yeah. You're the slaves that I'm talking about. You guys are the slaves. You guys are those slayers. Did I never say my name? Oh, I'm Sylvia. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Let's just jump into it. Episode six of Giving You the Suckle Sexuals of Ready to Love, season five. Like I said, episode six. Okay, let's get into it. So, while I'm reading, I can obviously be enjoying with you guys, isn't it? My Ghanaian brothers and sisters. All right, look. Okay, hold on. I'll start. Collaborate and listen, listen, you don't know what's coming. One penny, one penny, one penny. Oh gosh, I need to delete some um minutes. This song is long, I've just remembered. It's so long. I'm gonna have to use all my dance moves. This one song is so long. I remember this is so long, it's at least like. Well, let me get into it now. Hey. 
hey, hey, yeah, this is another move. This is another move. Hey, 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 hey. Manuela, Manuela, I'm fancy as a love. The Manuela, Manuela, I'm fancy as a love. Right, but okay. Let me get serious now. Um, takes physical mental. Right, so yeah, it was. I was meant to be reading, isn't it? Let me read. I was meant to be reading. Oh gosh, sorry guys. Yeah, we come back dance, they won't then think then. I still haven't even marinated my mind with what I'm, I'm coming to talk about. So guys, let me let, it, let me get it together. I had a tipple. I mean, why not? I mean, yeah, maybe that's what it is. But let me read and then get back to you guys. Okay, see you guys. Hey. Okay, <sighs> let me get serious. So, oh, I still haven't finished reading. Oh gosh, this is serious. Oh, say tall again, tall again. I find this in a tall again, tall again thing. Ah, ah. How did that happen? What happened there? Oh, what's going on? Why is this rewinding? I mean, it's good that it's rewinding, don't get me wrong, but I don't understand what happened. Though. Yeah, well, it's a rewind by force then, it's a rewind. But I still haven't started this, I need to hurry up, it's past 11 now. Be funny, see? Off to toll again, toll again. I find it's in the toll again, toll again. nonsense this is absolute nonsense what the heck is going on here it's playing though or is it a preview or what what's going on my eyes you know hey charlie how can i start my eyes i can't see that i'm thingy maybe it's not because it's not there <laughs> ah yeah it's the normal out timings let me forward it because i'm getting tired of saying this the same bit okay let's let's you want it let's we, we've got to give it props we've got to give mr forrest his props we've got to give it we're funny, it's in the toll again, toll again, fee. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 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 don't try. Baby, oh, don't try. Oh, don't try. Baby, oh, don't try. What do you see, treat me? What do you rinse in me? What do you treat me? What do you rinse in me? Oh. Anna, Anna. Oh, I'm rushing. I'm rushing. I can't start. This is serious. This is serious. Anna, me by our me day, me no our and Yenifi, and Yenifi, or don't want to try and Yenifi, and Yenifi, and Yenifi, or don't want to try and Yenifi, and Pony. I'm a man and wife. Why you wanna come destroy my life? I'm a man and every wife. Every day is fast in the forcing. Every day is forced in the fighting. Every day is fast in the forcing. Every day is a force in the fighting. Away. I don't know what he's even saying. What is he saying there? I'm just making up my own. Anyway, the whole thing is in fabrication. I mean, like that. And you see, this is the original where you guys are getting the, you know, the new beatings. This is where it originated from. My life, surely, don't die crazy. What did she say? Is it? It's my life, darling, don't do crazy or something like that. They didn't work out. I mean, I forgot. Anna, Anna, would the boy be she she honuma? Anna, Anna, would the boy be she she honuma? I remember that there. Even Ghanaian, I don't even talk about Ghanaian mentality in terms of me singing. It's the same, it's still sexualized. This is the their version of sexualization. But it's accusing the woman that she's cheating on him. This is that story. So it's basically the whole premise is the girl has taken him for idiot, basically. The whole song is basically about that. I mean, even though I understand tree, but you know, the tree is brothelized. It's brothelized. It's got juice and marinated in a bit of, you know, where I was born. I can't help it, but I'm Ghanaian at heart. 
through and through yes but um yeah I, yeah that's why i'm talking to my english my my, my english speakers i'm um, just explaining the premise of the song like you're taking me for idiot like it's the the love that you gave me has made me go tall again it's like but are you staying there are you in that room with a boy is that what you're doing there are you there with that boy right now that I'm singing about that you've made me look like a tall again? Are you there with him now? Is that what's going on? So yeah, that's basically the, the description of that song. You're welcome, you're welcome. Oh, is that what, that's, that is what it means, isn't it? I'm just hoping what I'm saying is correct, because I'm not sure, because I've never asked. I've just made it up in my head. So I don't know what I I need to get serious. Okay, let me start. Okay, I'm starting. But there's a song that's coming. So anyway, give me the sack of sexuals. So um, <clears throat> it was the guy's chance to vote whoever. It was the guy's whatever. And um, it was about going out with the people that you potentially had a bit of a spark with, but never really acted on it kind of like thing. Just to be sure that you're making the right decision. Or they're making the right decision. The way up, up, when it's down. Don't forget to end it. <sighs> My motherland's version of sexualization, basically going on right there and i've just come to the realization so water and um zadia went on a pedicure date and um you know zadia was like oh he's a smooth talker and you can tell yeah we water the smooth talker he because he's got the gift of the communication he can communicate to, for people to find him very relatable basically yeah, i can see that so she was saying that here she has to tread line, lightly but i would if i was talking to her i want to know like what is her meaning of tread lightly like and, yeah. and why would you want to tread lightly if he's he has something that you like like do you know what i mean that's what i would ask but that's never, that's never my mind's going somewhere else sorry let me get back to it if well unless the smooth talker she feels that there's something behind that and obviously clearly she does that's why she said that she's <laughs> clearly she has to you know tread lightly because he can he's got the gift of the gab that he could sweeten her up if she's not careful so actually yeah she makes sense there as well so i had to think of it another way because i was thinking of it one way but yeah it makes sense that way as well um a bit psychosexual i was just, I was just doubled a little just doubled a little bit but, but that psychosexual is always on it's always in my mind it's always in my mind yeah. so they were speaking about values and the fact that you know um he's <clears throat> he understands the um the meaning of value not only with his family having quite a lot of females in the family but also the fact that he he met his wife when she was nine when they were 19. so almost his later teenage years was actually becoming one with someone that he actually came really close to and you know at such a young age to do that it's something that to aspire to even if you're not necessarily married but just to be in a communal community Potentially, anyway, or you can like to be by yourself, or whatever, or whatever you do. Maybe I'm again the psychosexuals. Are, guys, my mind today is like really the psychosexuals just dripping, it's dripping like this. The psychosexual. Look. So you don't can't see my work. Am I too close? Is that better? I need, I don't like my hair when it's. I just need it shaved. I really don't like it when it grows. They were talking about family values and yeah. So when he passed, when she passed away, basically he was saying that he kind of just. Re What's the word? What's this? Okay. I don't have to dance to everything, do I, when I've got work to do? I don't, I don't have to. So what's going on today, so? Oh, yeah, because the dear the, the asked, asked him, has, she, has he ever cheated? And that he said that he went back to, like, being 19 because that's all he knew. And then turned he was a player. So basically he's saying, yeah, yeah, he has been a player again. He's been a player again since... since his partner uh, passed away basically but it's understandable what i was telling you guys about in terms of learning still like it's the it's you know he he spent his time with the person that he'd really learned to love through what he's seen in his life if that makes sense so the fact that she had gone is like of course he's just going to go back to how 
it was when she wasn't there to love if that makes sense because he didn't love anyone before that if that makes does that make sense i hope i'm making sense but yeah if i think of it in that respect yeah it makes sense that he would kind of i guess regress is a strong word but more or less yeah um but what else is there was a oh, gosh i'm thinking so much guys and it's just not meant, it's not to me meant to be that deep he was saying see i've even forgotten but I'm, I'm saying something that i hadn't even thought about but it, it actually makes sense what i'm saying but then then i remember that he said that it takes a physical and mental toll of him on toll of him obviously losing his partner in that way it makes sense it totally makes sense and he said that um yeah then he made a comment guys and i kind of want your advice on this one because there are like i keep on telling you guys there's a lot of school of thoughts there's not just one type of school of thought that we have to always adhere to there's not just you know one type of way to think no there isn't a lot of people have ways and ideals that they want to kind of well how do you even put it associate with themselves some people like to be looked after some people like to look after those people some people don't want to look after those people and some other people don't want th those people to look after them anyway there's different school of thoughts he said it's the woman that chooses who they stay with or are monogamous with and things of that nature and the man is just there but then there's another school of thought and i think you guys know the the prize association shall i call them um they say that it's the men that is the um thing i i'm indifferent i don't know i just uh, why would i it's just always the, like it's always just like a battle between the two like oh why am i going to feed into that i'm just not i'm not here for that like two people can meet and be on one in one accord and it's not like yeah i choose you it's just it happens it just happened i feel like i was gonna go on a tangent let me just rein it back in and um, so sabrina and sean went out and they looked quite jovial they looked quite playful up until when um sean said that he's not sure how he might potentially feel about her in three months time basically it's the long and short of it and that was basically a bit of a red flag she she got it up basically that flag was up yeah no, he was talking about he might want kids and like obviously she was like she's not sure about she, she wants kids and stuff like that she kind of wants to show her um child that and i can definitely hear what she's saying that she doesn't want her daughter to ever see her come in and out with men and stuff like that as her representation so she's like looking for somebody that's serious and all that stuff and but doesn't want any more chick kids and it felt like um sean is quite logical with his emotions he uses quite a lot of uh, logic to kind of like manage his emotions because he's just thinking three months ahead maybe he was thinking out loud and he shouldn't have said what he said but he's just he seems to know that what he said what he wants and that's what he's going for anyway phil and aisha they looked really sweet together and like aisha was very 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 vulnerable very honest about her emotions and really delved deeper to kind of respond to um something that she'd been hiding behind more or less for a while from what she's saying it's not my it's not my uh, my interpretation of it is what she says that she did when people would ask her if she wants kids and she'll just stay straight out that she doesn't want kids but the reason is because like she's had difficult pregnancies as well as um you know lost a child and things of that nature and she was talking about you know she, she doesn't want to feel like a failure again and she doesn't want to be you know not produce the child that that the partner would want and she doesn't want to go through that but it's just the way she was saying it, it really felt second positioning which like is like she's looking at it from her, um what the partner would say so there's two, three different types of positionings that you can have in any type of a situation i think i said this before first position is your own position what you think about it your opinions everything pertaining to whatever situation you're in and then the second um, position is the person that you're in the, the or the persons how many people it is what they think about the situation etc and then the third position is from above looking down below bird's eye view the both of you looking from that perspective basically and trying and being able to you know see things more empathetically in that respect as well for so yeah it seems like she um uh definitely like she's been through a lot it's like she doesn't it, it's not that she doesn't recognize that she's been through a lot but it feels like she's thinking about the pain that she's, she might potentially give the partner as opposed to the pain she feels for going through what she's been through if that makes sense the, the fear of losing it again basically and 
yeah, so it's definitely a defense mechanism. And she, yeah, she got really emotional, really vulnerable. Yeah, she said that she felt she felt comfortable speaking to Phil because he's very um, supportive, uh, and she feels assured and trusted in him. Um, Naeem and Camille were now, and yeah, nah, they're not meant to be. Camille done the same thing she done to Cornelius, asking him about the money situation, basically. And like I said to, to you before, the meaning of money in a relationship for her seems to be high up there. The way she asks is a little bit interrogative, and maybe that's why Naeem... Not even that is interrogative, it's just too soon. First, first date, first date. So Naeem already had his back up, he's a little bit defensive about it. Yeah, he needs someone more grounded, basically. So Dante, Frank Newman and Sabrina went on a date. Sabrina and Dante went off. They got a bit cosy, it was all right. Frank and Newman went off as well. My Ghanaian brother. I mean, this is taken to K to you. I hope you know this song. And I've got to Frank and Newman. Look at the song that came on. So with you, man, yeah. You better know the song, Frank. Don't let me down. Okay. So... Yeah, Frank and Moomin went out, it seemed that they got on, but there became a time where the subject again of sex came up. Why did the subject of sex come up? Because it's an important part of people's lives, basically. It is a physiological thing. And the reason why I'm saying that is because Frank had to kind of let Moomin know that, yeah, I, I admire your faith. I do admire it. I admire it, babe. Stuff and come on. You're beautiful. The faith is, makes you even more beautiful, but... I've been doing the thing in the streets. I have been. Okay, let me stop calling it street things. Okay. He's been sexual. A woman is practicing celibacy. That's what her meaning of sex has comes with. Her meaning of, um, you know, God and what God wants her to do and things of that nature. So, yeah, he was like, oh, he's you know, just letting her know kind of like thing. And then he kind of reconsidered. He's like, oh, you know, you know, the bond is growing and things of that nature. So let's see, let's see. Maybe the, the bond will overshadow the need for the sex. Thing. So let's see. So Tissia and Sean went on a day and they, it went quite well. It seems like they're really, again, religion came into, you know, the meaning of their relationships and where they want to have, um, position religion in their relationship and things of that nature. And it seemed like they're on the same lines, basically, in the way they um, see, you know, the value or the meaning of religion to be in their lives or, yeah, be in their lives, basically, and because they really got deep into the denominations of the church they go to. And it's, I think it's the same. Yeah, and that's it, really. And then, oh, I've said everything I need to say. Okay, that was quick then. Well done, me. Okay, it's only 12 o'clock. Okay. This is how it's going to be for the next three. Quick, precise. No, it wasn't precise, but I, I got there. Yeah, Cornel Cornelius, um, yeah, he realised that now nah, they're different values. He's looking to wait. She's not. And she was quiet for him to quote unquote forward in showing him how much of a sexual person she is because yeah she does seem to be quite a forward sexually person and i would I like to like uh, like speak to her in regards to where she got that kind of way of being because it's not that it's not abnormal or anything like that not at all but most messages when it comes to women and like being sexual and things of that nature from a young age it, or like we're taught that you know we should be demure it's men it's men who kind of rule sex and we are kind of the objects in different ways of being shown the presentations of females do you get what i mean so that could be in videos yeah it could be in so many things that could be in films being the damsel in distress kind of like waiting for someone and it'll usually a man to come and rescue her and all of that so and there's nothing wrong with it but it's it makes a woman not want to necessarily understand this the, that side of her the sexual side of her and, that, and that's what can be some of the things that come up for people and things of that nature. But I wonder where, you know, she seems to have more of a sexual confidence. Um, so anyway, so she left. Anyway, she went, oh, yeah, they voted her out. And that's it, guys. Yeah, that's it. Episode six, done. Let me put that to the side. Let me put it to the side. Guys, you know where you can find me. Sex and Slay with Azamai MUA. IG, TikToks, YouTubes, Facebooks, Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for commenting in my DMs. Still, still in the DM. Still not direct. I don't know what's going on there. Just do what you gotta do. Like, guys, I'm out. See you in episode seven. I'm gonna do it right now. That was so quick. I'm actually proud of myself. Bye, guys. All right, take care. Bye, 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 bye. See